Welcome again, this is Will Brooks. In this video, we are going to learn basic coding using HTML and CSS. This is actually project one based on my previous video. If you're interested in learning basic coding theory and vocabulary, please watch that video. And don't forget to like and subscribe below so you can help me produce more of these videos. We're gonna to go to the top left. It says new REPL, it's the blue uh, rectangle there. And we're gonna click there. And we're gonna wait, we're gonna use HTML, CSS, and JS, we're gonna use that language. And then we're gonna name this. Uh, we're gonna name it, let's see. And I apologize for the keyboard here, but I don't have an external keyboard. We're gonna call this Miyagi's, Miyagi's, Miyagi's Noodle Shop, yum! Noodle Shop. Okay, Miyagi, and then we're gonna keep it public and create right there, click on create. And we have to wait for it. It's coming soon. There it comes and wait. Ta-da! Okay, great. So like I mentioned in my other video, I explained what numbers 1 through 12 mean um, in HTML, basic vocabulary, and uh, basically what, what those terms mean. So please check the other video. Today we're just going to create this so you can check your work. We're going to go right down to number 6 called title. We're going to change the title. Right now it's REPL.IT. And I'm going to change that to Miyagi's Noodle Shop. Okay, and like I mentioned before, if you hit that top button with a green triangle there, hit run, uh, it's not going to show up on the right side because it's in the head and nothing shows up on your website in the head. So now we're going to go into the body. Okay, line number nine. Okay, in the body. We're going to click on the right side there, and then I'm going to hit return. And we are going to go with H1. H1 is heading. And heading 1, oh, oh, let's see. We need a tag first. Okay, let's do that less than. And then let's do H1. And let's close the tag. <clears throat> there we go. And you can see how Replit already puts a closing tag there on the right side, which is fantastic. So I am going to hit return. And we're going to call this, again, Miyagi's, <laughs> Miyagi's Noodle Shop. Okay, there's that ghost writer again, Miyagi's Noodle Shop. Perfect. Now, we can run this. We'll go to the top uh, middle and hit that green triangle. Yours may look a little different because mine's on the iPad. But perfect. Look, Miyagi's Noodle Shop. Oh, I love it. It's perfect. Okay, next, we want to put in, in, for example, in that in that video I had before, in the description, it shows what, what to put in for this project. So next, we're going to add a topping selector. So we're going to go to H1, where the tag is, hit return. And now we're going to do that less than sign again. And we're going to do H2. H2 will give, us, will give a, a smaller font here. So H2. And let's click there, and then let's hit, and there's their, their closing tag on the right. Let's hit return. And in this case, we're going to put toppings, because we want to add toppings to our noodle soup. And, of course, I love to run it. And let's see what it looks like. Oh, there we go. Look, Miyagi's Noodle Shop and toppings underneath that. So now we have to add toppings, and we're going to do that with using P as a paragraph. So click on the right side of the closing tag for H2 right there on line 15. I'm going to hit return. And then I'm going to do the less than sign. And this time I'm going to use P for paragraph. And we're going to close that with the greater than sign. And then look on the right side. It's got the closing tag. Hit return. And now on our toppings, we're going to do, let's see, one. Uh, we're going to do, how about bean sprouts? And we're going to say that's going to cost, bean sprouts is going to cost uh, $1 for the topping. $1 for our topping of bean sprouts if you want. Number two, well, let's go with, uh, we have here eggs, uh, boiled eggs, and let's go with $1.50 for the eggs. $1.50 for the eggs, great. Number three, the third topping that you can order here at Miyagi's Noodle Shop, let's go with bamboo shoots, a uh, favorite of mine, bamboo shoots. And let's see, what price do we want? Let's put that at... Bamboo shoots, 225. 225 sounds like a good price. And last but not least, my favorite is roast pork. Oh my goodness, roast pork is delicious. 
roast pork. Now with CSS, we can actually add pictures to these, which we'll do later. So roast pork is gonna be a little bit more expensive, I think. So let's charge $3 for roast pork, okay? Roast pork top. Maybe we'll give three slices of roast pork. Now we hit run. And like I said before in the other video, look, even though they're on separate lines in code, uh, they're showing up on one line. So now we have to do a break. So we have to separate the lines. So let's go to bean sprouts and let's do a space there. And we're going to call this BR for break. And let's close that. And then let's go to eggs. Let's do the same thing. Oh, let's run it. Come on. Let's run it and see how bean sprouts is on its own line. So let's do that to the others. So eggs, there we go. BR means break, and you don't need a closing tag for this. Uh, let's go to bamboo shoots, BR, and then let's finish it off with our roast pork. Yummy roast pork, yummy roast pork. Let's run it, and let's see what it looks like. Ta-da! Perfect. Now we have all uh, separate lines for our toppings. Now, we need to style this with style.css. So we want to go to the left. Right now we're on the index file we want to go down not the script javascript but we want to go to style.css good and let's go to the body first we want to change the body so we type in body space now you got to find this the curly brackets curly brackets right there curly brackets hit the curly bracket and then hit return when you hit return you get a closing curly bracket down there so on the body basically the body if you go back to index.html the body entails everything from line 9 all the way down to line 21. You see that? Line 9 to line 21 in the middle. So that's basically uh, Miyagi's Noodle Shop, the toppings, and all the toppings included. So if we want to change the color for all of them, we can say color, and then you can click on color property. It gives you the colon. And I'd say let's go with, I'm going to go crazy. Let's say purple. I'm going to type in purple. Okay, and let's run that and see what it looks like. Purple. Oh, okay, that's not bad, purple, hmm. And let's go with a background color. How about the background, let's type in background. And let's type in colon. Rolling along here, and let's do, um, let's see, what kind of background, let's try green. How about green, let's see green. Let's see what green would look like. I know it's not, might not be wonderful, but this is just practice anyway. Wow, let's do let's do this. Let's let's put let's put green as the color here and let's put purple as the background. Let's flip that around and see what it looks like. Okay, let's run it. Wow, that's way still too dark. Way too dark. The background is purple. Uh we would need definitely much uh let's go maybe how about that's my standby is yellow. I used the yellow on the last time. Let's see what yellow looks like. It's fun. You can just play around with this. It's it's amazing. Oh, I like yellow. Okay, let's go with yellow and let's go with purple. I kind of like yellow. I like bright colors. Purple. Mmm, purple looks good. Okay, so now let's change Miyagi's Noodle Shop. We need to center that, right? Like we did in the last video. So that, if you go back to index, Miyagi's Noodle Shop, if we look at line number, now we want to go in the body, not the head. So we want to go to line number 11, that's, or 10, 11, and 12, that's H1. So go back to style.css. Let's put in H1. You don't need any tags on this one, space. Let's get our curly bracket, return. And then let's do text align. So text align, and then let's do center. And let's see what that looks like. Perfect. We like that center. Great. And then let's go to, um, let's see, that color. I like that color. Let's go to H2, which has our toppings, and type in H2 space. Let's do the curly bracket, return. And let's do color there, and colon, space. And let's, let's color that, uh, let's see, how about blue? Let's see what blue looks like. Why not blue? And you can put any color you want. Okay, let's do blue right there like that. And then last but not least, let's go to the P for paragraph, two returns there. So we're down on line 14. And you remember the all the toppings, one, two, three, four, they're in the, if we go back to index, they're in the P tags there. So we want to go to style back again. And let's type in, sorry about that. Let's type in P 
space, let's go to curly bracket, return, and color, and let's see, color property. Uh, let's see, we can do, how about, um, how about we do green right now? Let's try green. Okay, and green, return. Great, okay. So, I mean, not wonderful. Purple doesn't look so great up there. Um, we can try, we can do orange. Let's try orange. You can just play around with this. We're just having fun. So, orange, orange, and let's see. Okay, uh, it's okay. Let's go with that. Miyagi's Noodle Shop toppings. So this is the first project. First project is done. Um, basically, just check your code writing to make sure everything's good with a style.css. Check your index right there. Make sure everything is good there. Um, we didn't change anything. We only changed the uh, number six, the title, and then we changed in the body, and then we went to style and added colors. You can also add fonts if you want. Um, let's see if we want to add we want to change the font like we did in the other video. Let's go to font family so font family and uh, Let's see uh, Last time we did Arial. Let's see what Arial would look like if we change it in here oh, That's not bad Arial or we can do sans serif. Let's see sans serif and let's see what that would look like oh, That's pretty good too. Okay Let's just stick with that. Everybody okay? So we got Miyagi's Noodle Shop toppings. Um, that'll be the end of this video now. Just a basic tutorial on using HTML and CSS. We're going to come back later and add photos and buttons to this one as well as the first one we did. Thank you for watching and have a great coding day. Goodbye.